Hey guys, what's going on? It's October EMP. Today I'm going to be going over an app called the iOS Firmware app for the 4.1 firmware, 4.0 firmware. Um, this is for people who have a jailbreak. No matter what jailbreak you have, this app will be useful for you. It has every single firmware. You can trick your computer into thinking you have whatever firmware you want. Though, the most used and most needed purpose for this is to put your phone into tricking it into thinking that you're on the 4.1 firmware. So every time that you sync to iTunes, you don't have to worry about your computer asking you if you want to update to the 4.1 firmware. Now, obviously, when the new firmware comes out, 4.2, you're going to have to update this app and not update the app itself, but go inside of the application and update and put it on a 4.2 software. So, I mean firmware. So, I'm going to open up this application and show you guys what it's all about. Alright guys, so here we are inside of the application. Very simple, nice, easy to use interface. It just shows what firmware you're on, whether whether you have or whether you haven't changed it yet. It'll just tell you what firmware you're on and just see all the different firmwares that it has. Just slide down here and it'll show you. Now what's great about this application is if you're on a really old firmware, it'll allow you to trick your phone into thinking you're on new firmware so you can get new games because a lot of games, a lot of apps won't let you download them unless you have the newest firmware. So this app will take care of all those problems that you're having, allow you to download whatever you want. You know, I don't know, some games and some applications may not work as well if you're tricking your phone into thinking you have the 4.1 firmware and say you're on a first or second generation iPhone and that app requires you to have 4.1 firmware and you know, obviously it might not work as well but you know that's not that's up to you to decide whether you want to do that or not but I just wanted to show you guys how to do this so I'm going to I already am on 4.1 firmware so I don't have much use for this app but I know that there's a lot of people out there that do so what you're gonna to want to do to change your firmware is click on 4.1 and then you're gonna to want to press save and then it's gonna say saved firmware number and build saved so you're okay and that's it that's all you have to do there's no other walkthroughs or tutorials or how that's that easy uh, I know it's kind of a you know a, a simple video to make but I just want to make sure you guys knew about it knew exactly what to do and exactly you know what it does itself so that's it guys um, that's just what I wanted to show you leave some comments below if you have any trouble let me know send me a message uh, make sure you subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later